My wake up call came when I had this really bad acne breakout. It really affected my confidence. Ayoko lumabas noon, ayoko din mag pictures. Hi everybody, it's Ingrid again. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I talk about practical living tips, image consultancy, communication, and work life. This video is a continuation of this video over here, the makeup kit diet. Today I'm talking about my skincare wake-up call and why I found it very helpful to reduce the makeup and skincare products that I own. Whenever I conduct my skincare, hygiene, and grooming classes and we touch on the subject of makeup, I love asking my participants to tell me about their skincare habits, their views on makeup, and if they think it's necessary to have a big makeup collection. I get varied answers. Some say yes, some say no. Like I said in the video before this, if your career is in makeup, if you're a professional makeup artist, it is necessary that you have makeup products, your equipment, and tools because that's your business. That's your profession. In the last video, we talked about the lifestyle audit, makeup edition, what do I need makeup for, what is my current season, what are my activities, am I studying or working, what is my career or profession, how often do I wear makeup, how much time can I commit to fixing myself daily, why do I need makeup, am I using it to cover skin problems, to look presentable, or to enhance my looks. Skin problems. Skin problems should not be ignored. Kahit anong tapal mo ng makeup sa skin problems, they can just cover it slightly but not really address it. That's why it's important that you don't scrimp on a professional consultation with a dermatologist. It can be very tempting to DIY. I know there are tons of products out there that can be very appealing, but you wouldn't want to be blindly trying out products and spending money on them only to find out that they really can't address your skin problems. Some have this misconception that dermatologists will rip them off. Think about this. Dermatologists are doctors. They study for so many years, they review for the board exams, and even if they pass, if they get that MD at the end of their names, they continuously upgrade their knowledge through conventions and further studies. And there is a price to pay for that. So don't be thinking that they're out to rip you off. Minsan, sa kagustuhan natin magtipid, we blindly trust whatever product is trending. Then if something happens to our skin, who do we end up going to to help fix the problem for us? I think a dermatologist who really has a proper understanding has respect for the profession, yung they know the ethics, they won't stake their name and resort to wrong methods just for the sake of making money out of it. Imagine what they'll study for years, spend sleepless nights, they'll spend money for schooling, for those exams. Hindi biru yun. I follow this dermatologist on Twitter. His name is Dr. Winlove Bohika. He's very informative. Um, alam mong nag-aral, professional with research and experience. And there are times that he gets flack because he really will tell you, um, he really will say kung okay ba yung mga procedure. He gives a background about the skin concerns. One of the things he advises is to really seek consultation from board-certified dermatologists at pds.org. That's the Philippine Dermatological Society. So wherever you are in the Philippines, you can check out legitimate dermatologists on the website. On YouTube, I also follow Dr. Dre, foreigner naman siya. I like how she explains products and how ingredients work. Iba kasi yung hear it straight from someone with a medical background. I love it when she gives information on the effects of certain ingredients on the skin, what to combine and what not to combine. Anyway, going back, when you find a dermatologist you're comfortable with, work with him or her. If you have a skin problem, get to the root of your problem instead of covering it up with tons of makeup. Why is this a practical way to go about it? Kasi if you keep covering it up lang, hindi na address yung condition, baka ma-aggravate pa. In the last video, I shared a bit about the face when I was crazy over makeup and products. I would layer the makeup super kapal. I didn't have much skin problems naman to begin with, but I had that tendency to put on too much makeup. My wake-up call came when I had this really bad acne breakout. Ang dami kong pimples. A lot of them were these huge bumps that were painful and very inflamed. It really affected my confidence. Ayoko lumabas noon. Ayoko din mag pictures. I was working in the radio station then. Tapos ang dami kong guests. I noticed that when I had the first few pimples, parang sige, okay, okay lang. But the more that I put makeup, 
na aggravate siya. So it started from three small ones hanggang sa dumami siya tapos nang lumaki na yung mga bumps. So I don't have much pictures to show the condition of my skin then kasi talagang nahihiya ako magpicture talagang <sighs> nakaka-affect siya ng ano nakaka-affect siya ng confidence. Oh, no. It was only then that I realized if only I was content with my own skin tapos hindi ko na lang sana siya tinakpan ng sobrang kapal na makeup every day. So I went through a treatment plan with my dermatologist. Una topical muna kami so I just use medical medicated skincare products and I had to not use makeup for a while but when that first layer didn't work that's the only time she prescribed oral medication to me now for oral medication for acne you need to see a doctor at kailangan may prescription yan so after that phase I learned to embrace and really be grateful for the skin I have pwede naman palang tinted moisturizer lang pwede man palang hindi sobrang kapal ng makeup every day I learned to simplify my makeup look and my makeup choices even the products that I use I'd also have to say that I noticed as I got older, I'm no longer that crazy over products compared to before. I've just become more streamlined with my choices. If you have good skin kasi, you don't have to cover up so much. Just a little bit here and there, define what needs to be defined. Yun nga, hindi na kailangan sobrang kapal ng makeup. Wala naman masama sa contouring, highlighting, and all that. But for me at least, I've learned that there's a way to go about it without going overboard. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you picked up a thing or two about what I shared today. Next time, I'll talk about my skincare diet. Will that be about food that I eat for my skin, maintenance, products? Basta, abangan nyo na lang. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, be teachable, keep learning, and always be humble.